what's up guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in today in this video guys i'm going to talk to you guys about hex i'm going to talk to you basically just about my thoughts on hex um you guys have been asking me to take a look at it what do i think about it am i buying it what are you looking to do well first off i'm going to save you the suspense but no i'm not buying this coin but I will tell you what's going on with it, what you can look at. Is it a scam? Is it legit? Is it a Ponzi? Is it a pyramid? What is it? Well, I'll just read you guys a couple things. I'll let you guys make the decision. This is not financial advice. I just wanted to do an overview video so you guys can check out Hex and see what's got going for it. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go and get into it. First off, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do three things for me. Like subscribe bell button leave a comment in that description below saying you subscribe you'll automatically get thrown into that drawing turn 100 dollars and free btc before i start this video guys i want to tell you guys a couple of things first off you guys requested for me to make this you guys are asking my opinions my thoughts on this i'm just explaining to you guys my thoughts and what i'm thinking on it I'm not saying i'm right i'm wrong like 1000 percent of the time but i just want to explain to you guys the different risks involved that you guys need to see um, especially with investments or purchasing like any cryptocurrencies or making any decisions even with yield farms it's all a math problem so you want to pick something that has lower wit lower risk with higher reward so if there is a huge reward and there's a huge risk then sure it, it it could be worth it but if there's like a massive risk and the reward is like eh, whatever and it's i mean it's just a math problem that's the reason why the first thing i talked about or will talk about is the market cap of hex it's the third largest cryptocurrency now it's got about an 80 billion dollar market cap actually it's probably more than that but anyways, guys, that's just putting things into perspective. Um, Bitcoin is like 600 billion and Ethereum is like 300 billion. Um, what you got to ask yourself is what's the use case of hex? Um, okay, uh, well, if you don't know what the use case of hex is, well, I'm going to explain it in this video. Uh, just hint, hint. Um, it's just speculation. It's, oh yeah, up only. It's going to go up uh, because that's why you buy hex. Do you buy Hex to use for DeFi? Uh, no, that's probably what they're trying to say with Pulse Chain. But here's the problem with Pulse Chain that I see. So first off, um, you're having to, quote unquote, sacrifice your tokens. And it's like they're selling you saying, oh, you'll save money doing this, this, and this. Well, what if Pulse Chain never comes? What if Pulse Chain is like the end? What if they just take all your money and run? I mean, if they get, I mean, just think about it. If you're a dev, or a developer in a foreign country. I'm not saying he's in a foreign country. Um, no one knows where he's at. It's a decentralized network. Um, all you see is it's just a protocol running on there. Just look at it like a yield farm. Say they get, I don't know, $100 billion in TVL locked up onto Pulse Chain, or let's just say, fine, $8 billion. Well, if someone gets paid $8 billion, um, are they going to keep building or would they just be more incentivized to say, look, bro, I got $8 billion. I'm going to go buy my own Island. I'm going to buy 10 cities. And then I'm just going to like chill on a hammock the rest of my life. Well, guys figure it out. All right. So first off guys, we're going to go over a couple things. First off, you guys need to see the total supply. So the total supply is super high. Um, that's 573,752,350,095. What does that mean? Well, guys, the market cap is really massive. The fully diluted market cap on this Joker is over $72 billion. That ranks it the third highest cryptocurrency. So, yeah, what does Hex do? Oh, yeah, it's a certificate of deposit. Um, it's, it's provable that you earn interest in hex okay that's great so what does it do you earn hex hmm sounds like a farming token you know the one where we follow the farming rules where if you don't know where the yield is coming from you are the yield Talking about farming rules let's go and give them all to you don't lose money 
Don't invest what you're not willing to lose. Diversify your risk. Don't buy what you can earn. Don't pay 4% deposit fees. If you don't know where the yield is coming from, you are the yield. Always take profits. 99.9999999999% of these token farms go to zero. Do you want to be the bag holder? Happy farming, not financial advice. All right, guys, so those are just the uh, farm rules. So let's go ahead and check out the website. Let's see what they got. Hex.com. Hex stakes average 40% interest a year. Awesome. Well, first off, what you guys need to know when you're staking Hex, it is 40% or average of 40% as long as a bunch of people aren't staking. Right now, it's about 9 to 12% that are currently staking. And the more people that stake, the lower the yields go. So say 90% of the network stakes, it'll actually lower the yield to about 3%. But that's not the worry. I'm just kind of explaining to you how it works because obviously they don't really have a white paper that you can easily get to. Um, so you actually got to do a lot of research and understand how it works. But let's go ahead and play this video. Hex is the first certificate of deposit on the blockchain. I'm going to speed it up. It's a smart contract that rewards those who lock up their coins when they stake. In other words, Hex was designed to be like a long-term savings account, but with far greater yield than anything the bank has to offer. If you're new to cryptocurrencies, here's how all of this works. When you purchase Hex, it behaves just like any other cryptocurrency. They vary in price as people trade them, just like Bitcoin. However, unlike other crypto assets, Hex pays you interest in the form of more Hex for locking up your monetary value for a selective period of time. The longer you time lock your Hex, the higher your interest rate will be. Okay. This is not unlike a traditional banking certificate of deposit. The key difference is, Hex was designed to yield extraordinarily high rates of return versus typical banking products, and puts you in complete control over your finances. But what does this really look like? Some people get into Hex without understanding enough about the product. They immediately make a large investment and throw out a few random stakes between one to two years. While this is great, Hex was designed to produce significant returns in both interest and fiat value over the course of several years, not just one or two. If you properly understand its design, you can set yourself up to earn a perpetual passive income from Hex. This is like planting an orchard of apple trees. Apple trees are designed to take time to fully mature before they yield significant amounts of produce. Hex was designed in much the same way. Could you imagine trying to live on two-year-old fruit trees that only just started producing a fraction of their full potential? Sure, you may see significant growth and even yield a little produce, but it would be impossible to enjoy the fruits of your labor for years to come. But what if you employed a longer-term plan in the development of your apple orchard? What if you planted a new crop each year from years 1 to 15? And what if you continued this process every year thereafter? If you did this, you would essentially have a never-ending supply of apples for generations. Can you imagine how much produce you'd receive from your 10 to 15-year-old apple trees? You could supply enough apples to feed a small country. This is exactly how Hex Savings works. It's a long-term savings account. Now, I'm not saying you should lock up all of your Hex for 15 years and forget about it. Although some have, and they seem to be quite happy with their decision. I'm saying, if you build a proper staking ladder, one that sets stakes to mature up to 10 or 15 years from today, you can enjoy the maximum yield on your investment for years to come. Having stakes set to mature <laughs> All right, so I first, first off, guys, do you see the first problem in that? Holding it up 10 to 15 years from now, um, okay, well, is Hex going to be around till then? Okay, so that basically locks you up and makes you the bag holder if it does tank, but um, we'll keep playing One it. 1 through 15 allows you to enjoy the fruits of your investment early while also giving you the patience and discipline to reap potentially life-changing rewards in the longer term. It's the same as enjoying the abundant fruits of a 15-year-old apple tree versus a one-year-old tree. Imagine if Bitcoin was designed this way. All of those who bought Bitcoin for $1 in the early years maybe wouldn't have sold all of their holdings at $10 and missed out on an additional 600,000% ROI in less than seven. All right, guys, I just got to stop this video because it's I haven't learned anything on how and why it pays 40% interest. It They don't tell you. They just basically try to explain a bunch of different things and say, yeah, you should do this because apple trees that are 15 years old are better than apple trees that are one year old. Okay, thanks, Johnny. Maybe this video will help. What is this hex, you might ask? Hex is a cryptocurrency, albeit a very different type of cryptocurrency. You see, instead of simply spending or trading this cryptocurrency, Hex lets you lock up your money and gain interest on it. We already do this through our banks. It is what the banking industry calls CDs, or Certificates of Deposit. Customers lock up their wealth for a certain time, and in turn, they grow their wealth by earning interest. But the old school currencies that we lock up in our banks suffer from inflation, which means that while you are gaining interest over time, your money is also losing some of its value. This is where Hex shines. Because Hex is the first high interest paying cryptocurrency. 
Hex takes the profit out of banks and government money printing and gives it to Hex holders. Hex is actually designed to increase in value. In fact, the value of a single Hex token has multiplied by more than 80 times within the first handful of months it was launched. <laughs> Which means the Hex holders not only gain interest, but they also multiply their existing investments exponentially. And it's only just... Ah, uh, that was kind of ironic. Look at this, guys. Do you see something funny about this? Yeah, just remember that snapshot of the pyramid if you don't get the shape. And it's only just getting started. What makes Hex even more reliable is the fact that Hex is a trustless peer-to-peer -peer system, which means that there is no central power that controls the system. Everything is powered by the users without any counterparty risk. It's pretty, um, interesting. <laughs> to get started, head to Hex.com. Links below. Farewell. Okay, so it's um, basically a certificate of deposit. Okay, that's awesome. Um, uh, so what's the use case? Can you do anything with Hex? Okay, um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Hex, the first blockchain CD. Highly appreciating asset. Removes the middleman. That's great, okay. Okay, it pays 40%, okay, it does. Hex has a low inflation. Um, okay, um, I do don't know if it has well I, I guess it's been around for a while maybe they had a big time genesis i don't know but they got almost half a trillion tokens so maybe i'm missing something um but sure uh it, it went up 30 302x so far okay so i'm seeing a couple things there they, all i see is like pump of metals hype of metals like hey buy this coin hey do this so instead of telling you like, hey, look, um, why is that weird? Let me just show you guys a couple of successful cryptocurrencies uh, that we know of today. Uh, let's go ahead and show you Ethereum. All right, so Ethereum, it's explaining the token, what it does. Uh, you can get started. You can pick a wallet, get ETH, start building, build a D app. Like they're actually saying, use it, like play around with it, see how it is, explaining what it is, explaining how it's doing it, uh, the internet of assets, open interest. There's nothing on here that's saying, yeah, 332x or yeah, uh, we're multiplying, we're going nuts and ham. No, instead it's like, oh, here's the price, here's the transactions today, this is the total value in DeFi, and here's the nodes. There's nothing like, hey, we just like 300 or we 30,000 x. You should buy it today because we're just going up like nuts and ham. Look at all these different articles and white papers, Ethereum 2.0, a roadmap. All kinds of junk, and you can even go into their GitHub. They're building all kinds of stuff. Uh, so Hex, it's it's done. It's not doing anything else. I mean, at least Bitcoin, yes, for the most part, is done. But they're still building other things. For example, Taproot. They're trying to implement that. I mean, it's it's a it's a growing organism, I guess you can say. Hex. Um, well, one thing you guys need to know is if you aren't growing, you're dying. Um, so <laughs> I'm not saying that about Hex. It's just a piece of smart contract code that is running on the internet, but uh, that's that's Ethereum. So now let me show you Cosmos. Cosmos, same thing. Uh, it explains different things. It doesn't have pump of metals. It's not like, hey, we 330X, you need to buy this. 15-year um, apple trees are way better. No, it, it just explains like, look, fast transactions, proof of stake, low gas fees, uh, build a chain in minutes, get a grant to build. I mean, you don't see Hex saying, yeah, we'll pay you to build on our network. Instead, it's like, no, buy this coin and we'll pay you 40% interest. Wait, how about you pay me first before I actually invest into your currency? Yeah, uh, the <laughs> Cosmos is like, look, bro, you don't have to do anything. You can just build on our uh, protocol and we'll, we'll pay you. We'll pay you to build. I mean, you can check out the community, Twitter, developer chat. And in fact, the community with Hex is um, a bunch of people who have uh, gone into the network and are shilling their referral links to everyone um, because, well, I'm sure they get a bonus. So as you guys can see, they got a little referral link on the staking and I guess you get rewarded for it. And of course, you have a testimonial page. Um, yeah, I, I really didn't see this testimonial page on ethereum or cosmos but hey same thing with terra terra money um they don't talk anything about like hey buy it now we do all this i, I mean look they actually have a use case with terra money at least they have chai payments app 
uh, pay with Terra and uh, Meme Pay. I mean, guys, uh, they actually have a use case and they're helping people. What is Hex? I, I'm not saying Hex isn't helping people. I'm sure it's made a lot of millionaires um, because that's how pyramids work. The people on the top always make the most. And yes, they would get lots of money, but the people on the bottom, um, yeah, they're the bag holders. But with Chai Payments app and Pay with Terra, you're actually able to use the product that they have. And it, it, it just, I'm sure there's people watching. Um, they'll leave comments in the description below saying, yeah, I've used Chai. I've used Pay with Terra. They, they actually use this stuff. It has a use case. Similar to like something like Square and PayPal. That actually helps like companies process and buy things. Like on the other hand with Hex, um, it's a certificate of deposit. You deposit Hex, you earn Hex. That's great. Um, how's that going to help my company? Uh, it's a certificate of deposit. You stake Hex and you earn Hex. Uh, you speculate that it's the price is going to go up and you lock it in for 15 years. And if everyone else locks it in for 15 years, then um, yeah, it's we're all going to the moon. But anyways, um, I'm not going to show you any other successful cryptocurrency websites we're just going to continue and show you guys the website so next is they say hex ad spotted oh that's great johnny um what does that have to do with the blockchain again oh you paid for ads oh okay cool um you're spending money to market and bring other people into the pyramid but okay yeah um that works right social links um well it goes to richard hart the Facebook page, which is probably Richard Hart. The Reddit page, well, probably Richard Hart as well. Um, the memes page, uh, there could be some um, Moon Boys and Richard Hart. And Discord, Richard Hart's Discord channel. Instagram, same thing. I'm probably going to get a lot of haters on this video. I just want to show you guys this stuff so you guys can see it. Um, but again, it... It is labeling and saying hex is the first blockchain certificate of deposit okay that's awesome um right now we have a lot of sec regulations going on so this was a case uh that actually happened back in 2009 uh, probably <laughs> bernie madoff time right <laughs> sec charges stanford firms and massive cd fraud huh okay um what is it well it basically involving about eight billion dollars in certificates of deposits that drew thousands of investors with improbability high rate or improbably high rates of return. Huh. Wow. Okay. Like how high? Like 40%? So they then go to explain Sanford Bank is part of a com SEC complaint described as a web of affiliated companies. Okay. So then how was the bank doing it? Well, the bank grew rapidly by saying, oh yeah. Um, we're, in, we're able to achieve these double digit returns over the past 15 years. So our rates will be double those of a traditional bank. Well, let me explain how a pyramid works. So you have the initial investors that come in and they pay, say for example, they deposit a thousand dollars. Now you then, and you're like, look, I'll double your money every year. Okay. That's great. Um, and you're like, look, we'll do it. Trust me. And other people come in, they'll give you their $1,000 or 10 other people. So now you have $10,000. So you take 1,000 of that $10,000, repay it to the initial guy who invested the 1,000. And now he has his 2,000. He's like, whoa, it works. I'm being an ambassador and bring all I know. So he tells everyone else and his friends, they all invest their $1,000. And now those other 10 people that had $10,000 invested, well, you got to pay them each a thousand dollars. But good news, your amb ambassador, Buddy Freddy, he brought in forty more people who are paying you forty thousand dollars. So now you take ten thousand from that forty thousand, pay out the ten thousand to those investors, and that's how the pyramid goes on until eventually it gets too big and there's not enough investors to come in and be able to pay back the early adopters, and the pyramid just falls apart. Sounds like yield farming, guys, doesn't it? But one thing you got to ask yourself, well, just imagine what would happen to Hex if the SEC came knocking on 
Richard Hart's door and was like, hey, um, yeah, this is a no-no. You can't keep doing this. So let me show you an example of this. This is DMM governance. So here was a token that I, I was interested in. I was actually looking at it. And it was an interesting concept. But here, it just randomly, the token literally went to almost zero all in just one day. It went down 99%. And it actually pumped right before it went down. But if you read this, it says, as a result of regulatory inquiries, DMM is shutting down effective immediately. M tokens is no longer available. M token redemption will remain available indefinitely. Great. What are they worth? Nothing. Though the interest rate of M tokens will drop to zero on or about February 10th. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. You guys get the point. They're basically ceasing operations. Now, this is where I was like, okay. Cryptocurrency is great because I like decentralization, but if you're buying and looking at centralized trash, well, you you are going to get nipped in the buns. DMM was centralized. That's why it was a major issue. This is why I'm so adamant about centralization. I mean, Hex seems to be run by Richard Hart, but hey, that that's just me um, and my thinking. So let me show you guys another thing on Etherscan. What do you find interesting here? So you got... 12,829 ether out, 631, 621, 611. That's a lot of Ethereum moving. Where's this Ethereum going? There's 54 pages of this. Now, this was the original contract is in the origin contract with Hex. So when people were buying Hex, the Ethereum that came out to the other side, this was going to Richard's wallet. Now, what was he doing with this Ethereum? Well, he could be sending it somewhere. He could be selling it. Um, but then I was looking into other wallets he had. And I was like, hmm, okay. So it looks like he likes to play with Tornado Cash a lot. Why do you play with Tornado Cash? Well, if you guys don't know what Tornado Cash is, it's basically a protocol that allows you to deposit Ethereum or deposit tokens and withdraw to any random address that you want to remain anonymous. So it basically is like the Monero for Ethereum. But yeah, just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Maybe he wants to go buy a farming token anonymously. So I wanna walk you through the main page on Hex. I, it's really hard just to find a stinking white paper, but you go to learn more, it just takes you to why Hex is so special. You go to learn more again, and it basically blows up that little blurb that it had there and it just opens it up there's really nothing like this is a smart contract code this is what you need to know here's the information no there's just a website they're trying to sell you on buying hex they're trying to compare bitcoin to hex and say look if bitcoin did what hex did it would be like the best um i'm not saying it still can't pump it'll probably pump um because that's what pyramid schemes do is as more people get in it pumps but eventually this will get too big in order to sustain in my opinion i mean it's already the third largest cryptocurrency and as more and more people buy in there's only so more or so many greater fools but yeah that that's just my thought another thing i want to show you is um here's hex's or well richard hart's youtube channel and since I was searching on YouTube, man, I, I just get shilled like crazy. But what's weird is he has some Louis Vuittons. He's got a bunch of watches, um, a bunch of crazy stuff. He basically flaunts his wealth. Um, I, I don't really see Vitalik Buterin doing that. Uh, but hey, that that's just my thoughts. Um, that's just what I'm thinking. But it, it's it's kind of odd. Um how he has to like say hey look buy this hurry now five percent in rate increase sacrifice coming tomorrow hurry you need to do this now like buy 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 do this look at my rolexes look at all my money um why do i need to know how much money you have um is it so you can get me in i mean typically when you try to sell someone something it's it's like you're you're selling them something so you give a good reasoning why People don't, you don't have to sell anyone on Bitcoin and Ethereum. In fact, it just sells itself. Hex, on the other hand, you have to say, yeah, look, I made millions. Uh, I mean, 
Okay, that's great. Um, what is the solution or what is the problem that you're solving? Well, you just make money with it. Um, that That's awesome. Uh, they have lottery tickets at the store. Um, those are for sale too. Uh, those work, right? I mean, in my opinion, you'd probably be better off uh, with buying maybe like a, um, a vaporware altcoin uh, that is claiming to solve a problem um, that pumps like crazy. But again, guys, it's not financial advice. I, I'm just kind of trying to explain to you uh, what's going on, especially w with the risk that you're going to take on with this. Um, and there are several articles out there as well claiming that Richard Hart owns like 50% of the network. Don't know if that's true or not. I couldn't verify it on Etherscan. If you guys look at the holders on Etherscan, um, well, they got a lot of multimillionaires on here. But I don't know. Maybe he owns multiple of these wallet addresses. I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of explaining to you guys the different holders on there. And you guys can see the token holders chart. But some people say he owns 50%. I don't see it on the blockchain, so I can't really uh, claim that as valid. But if someone else has a link to where it owns over 50%, well, maybe that can be on there. Next off is people are asking me about Pulse Chain. Am I going to deposit on there? Well, no, um, I'm not even interested in Hex. Uh, it just, uh, I don't know. Um, I already read to you my thoughts. I explained to you my thoughts. That's why I'm not investing. Um, in my opinion, with Pulse Chain, it could probably be one of those buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing. Why would you need to sacrifice or who am I sacrificing my tokens to? Oh, you're sending it for medical research? Is it is it really going to medical research? Well, I, I can't say what he's going to do with it, but I'm sure he's going to get a portion of it. So instead of it all going to research or medical research i'm sure he's going to say oh yeah some of, do you know how the donation sites go uh yeah i had to pay a portion to my employees i had to pay a portion to the payment processor all kinds of garbage uh actually guys if you ever see any like donation sites online or like gofundme pages it, and it's your friend just contact your friend directly and say hey look here man here's some money um because those gofundme pages and all those uh donation places they take a lot of fees to cover for like employees and whatnot i don't know if you guys knew about that but still i i do like how if it is going to medical research that's good to see but anyways guys those are my thoughts on hex and pulse chain um i it's really just that like you read it it explains to you a pyramid scheme this is just what our farms do like the the farms that we look at you know the ones where you're like oh yeah i can earn tokens i can earn this i can do that um yeah that's that's really how these farms work so in my opinion hex is just like another farm in fact they incentivize you to lock it up longer and they pay you extra interest there's nothing wrong with that because if you're holding up the network and not dumping on everyone sure that that's that's fine but just be aware of the risks involved with something like this especially with this little button here that says refer so being that it kind of has this refer button um means basically like hey look the early users are going to get rewarded more but hey those are just my thoughts and then of course um if you google anything about hexa scam it just brings up all their websites so it's looking like they're uh doing a lot of marketing um to basically boost their hexa scam website by just sending it straight to their website and they're answering all the rebuttals well you aren't getting any other opinions on it besides opinions from the actual company itself but hey that that's just my thoughts so richard hart uh founder of hex is hex a ponzi well ponzi's promise high returns that sustain for a while oh, oh okay um in hex you meant your own rewards by interacting with the contract okay that that's great johnny so if you're minting hex and diluting the supply who is that taking money from well that's taking money from the next users that come in because if you dilute the supply it's going to dilute the token price so in order to keep the token price up you have to have more users that come in a la pyramid scheme but anyways um they claim it's not but they explain it exactly like it is it's a pyramid scheme that's just how it is i mean there's nothing wrong with a pyramid scheme because you can make a lot of money with it as long as you are getting in at the right time. 
But if you're getting in at the wrong time, well, you're pretty much roasted. So that I just wanted to go over that um, again so you guys can see it. But, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are just my thoughts on Hex. Um, you guys asked me several times to make a video on Hex and Pulse Chain. Here's the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys do three things. Like, subscribe, bell button. Leave a comment in that description below saying you subscribe. You'll automatically get thrown into that drawing to earn $100 and free BTC. So, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys do those three things. And we'll leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 20, verses 10. Differing weights and differing measures. The Lord detests them both. What does this mean, guys? Well, be honest in what you're doing. Back then when they like sold grains and whatnot, they would use weights. And some uh, merchants, what they would do is they'd scam the system and they would make like weights that were like known as like a five pound or a 10 pound weight and they would make it only weigh like four or three pounds and they'd put that weight the scale would level out and the person thinks they're getting 10 pounds of grain when really it's only three pounds that's what it means by that verse so make sure you guys are honest in what you do if you guys enjoyed the video you guys know what to do like subscribe bell button leave you in the next Dogs, gotta say thanks to the patrons. Sean Bott, Da Man, Tariq Lu, TL King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Taco Nacho. Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one liners and let you guys see the pets and behind the scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it, check it out. Bam, bam. So, next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit a hundred bucks, add in the uh, code BTC 50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400 guys, it's free BTC. Next is Voyager guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it